up YouTube and welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm coming to y'all with a wig install a full start to finish wig install I want to thank I see here for sponsoring this video I am working with them to bring y'all this video this wig install came out super duper bomb your girl got her a new glue <laughs> y'all know in my last hair video I was talking about trying a new glue so here I am trying the boho active and I'm trying the arrogant Tay method and y'all I freaking love this method like I feel like I know what I'm doing now I'm getting back in the swing of it because your girl was a little rusty and the got to be glue it just didn't do it for me like the spray I could never get a good ball cap so this was one of my best ball caps I'm really proud of that I did do me some like bogus little braids to the back they was okay I did eight of them and then I did slick my itches back with got to be glue and I'm just using a wig cap that came in the box. Y'all, this hair is super duper bomb. I'm so excited about this install. And again, shout out to Icy Hair because this hair is bomb. This is a 26 um, body wave unit. Y'all, the lace was bomb. Everything. We're going to get into all of that. But right now, we're just doing the ball cap method. I am going in with my Ruby Kisses um, cream foundation to put all over my cap. And I also went in with this on the inside of the wig as well. All right, y'all, so now I'm cutting away at the cap. I am gonna be using my scissors, and then I'm gonna go in with some small manicure nail scissors. And y'all, these worked so freaking well. I use these for cutting my cuticles when I do my nails, and they worked so bomb for removing this cap. They were just super precise and sharp. Love those. Um, So yeah, I'm just using those. <laughs> I was saying that they was bomb. And I'm cutting off my cap. As y'all know, I do have a, hair, a low hairline, so I really do like this um, method for putting on my ball cap because it actually keeps my cap down. Like I said, y'all, I used to struggle with the got to be glue spray and just getting it right. So I really took my time on this install, y'all, and it came out really, really good. So yeah, I'm just cutting the excess cap off here. So as I mentioned, I did put that same makeup on the inside of the lace. And y'all, this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal unit. Um, this is transparent lace, y'all. The lace was pretty bomb. It was like a nice little stretchy lace. And I did go in and cut the combs out because I mentioned that I wanted to start doing that moving forward for my installs. Just so they can lay flatter. And I'm just trying on the wig, y'all. All I did was um, bleach the knots. I washed it with my shimmer like shampoo and then I washed the actual length of the hair with some conditioner and then I blow dried it. I also of course plucked this unit off camera. Yeah, that is what I did for just like the customization part of the wig. And now I'm just cutting out the ear tabs. I'm also going to be going in with a Skin Protect by Boho for this install. As y'all know, I was telling y'all how the Ghost Bomb was doing me and how I would break out and how it would get gummy and how I just don't think it was meant for my oily skin. So this Boho Active definitely should do the job. So far, I've been loving it. And um, yeah, especially with the Skin Protect as well. I hope it does me well. I was not playing y'all about getting a new lace glue, okay? So now I'm just going in with the Boho and I'm going in with a Popsicle Stick. And I'm just going to be doing three layers of glue and I'm going to be letting the layers dry clear in between before applying my lace. So that is what y'all see me doing. Um, I just started on the actual cap and then for the last two I kind of put a little bit more glue on my skin and made a nice enough band so that the wig will be really secure. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just smoothing the layers out thin and letting them dry clear in between.
All right, y'all, so now I am ready to lay the lace into the glue. And I was just positioning it, making sure that everything was positioned well. And I really should have clipped my hair back. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> or I should have tied it back just so it would be out of my way. But now y'all just see me taking a comb. And I'm just pressing the lace into the glue. And just combing the hair back. Now, a lot of the hair um, did not make it into the glue. And I thought about just trying to glue it down. But then I realized that the wig would then end up too far down on my forehead. And I don't like that look. Like, I really like my wigs to look natural. So I don't put them too far down on my forehead. So I did just use the elastic band that also came in the box. Shout out to IC here because they definitely included everything that you needed to do your install. And make sure that it's melted. So yeah, I got a new elastic band. And I just blow dry that. And whatever didn't make it into the glue, I actually just end up cutting it off, which y'all will see soon. But right now, I'm just blow drying the hair um, while the elastic band is on. Just so that it can melt and I can make sure everything is fully dry and secure and melted so now i'm just going in with my scissors and i'm cutting the lace and y'all gonna see me prepared to just cut the lace off and like i said whatever hair didn't make it in the lace i just cut it i'm gonna end up cutting it off instead of trying to glue it down just so my wig don't be all the way down on my forehead like i said before <laughs> So now I'm just going over top of my lace with whatever was left on my little brush. Or I think I'm adding a little bit more. I think I've actually used powder for my contour kit. Um, just to add a little bit over top because the transparent lace can be kind of light. And your girl is chocolate. So I just wanted to make sure it melted. And now I'm just parting out like kind of where the baby hairs are going to be. And I'm actually going to go in and pluck just a little more. I remember in my last video I said I don't recommend this. But I actually do recommend plucking on your hair it's actually super smart and as long as you have a hold on the baby hairs um and your lace is secure like you shouldn't worry about it um coming up that's kind of why i said i didn't recommend it at first but scratch that i definitely recommend it and because i had end up cutting some hair um from the frontal that is another reason why i had to kind of go in and pluck a little more um <laughs> Now y'all just see me spray my Sebastian Plus. Um, it's the Sebastian Shaper Plus spray. I'm just using that um, just to like make my lace even more secure again. I went over top of that and I put the elastic band back on. I'm twisting those baby hairs out of the way and I'm going to blow dry that to make sure everything is dry and secure and just everything is melted. So after doing a little bit more plucking and customizing, I am just going in with my hot comb and I'm just making sure that everything is hot combed out and everything is pressed out. And I'm going to go in with my Care Care Wax Stick that I always use and I'm going to go over top of my hair. Of course, I'm doing a middle part for this install. So I'm just going to take my hot comb and press that out and make sure everything is sleek. And flat at the top, flat as I can possibly get it, y'all. I did not do this install in one whole sitting because I had got hot, child. I had to take a whole nother shower and everything. So that's why y'all see me change um, a different like shirt or whatever. But yeah, I just took that elastic band off. It was on there for a while. And I'm just cutting all the extra hair so I can get ready to do my baby hairs. I was not recording at one point. 
that's why we just jumped to me like already having most of my baby hairs curled but again i'm going in with another arrogant tape method and i'm just going to be using my mini baby list flat irons to curl my baby hairs before i lay them and i'm getting excited well i was getting definitely getting excited because i was almost done with this install <laughs> and um, i'm going in with my got to be glue but i actually end up scratching i got to be glue after a while and i just went in with my gorilla snot and it gave me kind of like a a nicer hold but it just depends on the day y'all sometimes i use my got to be glue and sometimes i use the gorilla snot so yeah i'm just going in and playing with my baby hairs i definitely played with them for a while just to get them how i wanted them I'm just going to let y'all watch me do my baby hairs. Y'all done seen me in about just a third shirt. It's been a lot, but I'm ready to finish. So I'm just ready to finish my hair. I'm about to just style it real quick and put some curls in it. Other than that, the last time that I was recording, I was setting my baby hairs. They decent or whatever. Like I can I can vibe with them. This hair is bomb though. It's so pretty. It's super soft. I did get some like light shedding, but other than that, lace and everything. The lace and everything on this unit is like super pretty. I'm just about to pick up where I left off, basically. This install was all over the place, y'all. Like I said, I definitely ran errands before I can even fully finish my hair. So now y'all see me going out with the bio silk and the bio silk was okay, but I actually ended up scratching that and just using my olive oil heat protecting serum and since this hair was so thick y'all i believe it's like a 250 percent density i have all the, the um i have all the information on it in the description box but since it was so thick i wanted to make sure that i just got all the frizz out of it and i just you know thoroughly use my heat protectant or anything just like a serum just so the hair looks silky and i'm just doing some flat iron curls and i was kind of rushing so y'all see me using my little eyelash um fan <laughs> just to cool the curls off because y'all know However the curl set is how it's going to set. So I usually like to hold mine in my hand for a little bit and let it cool off before I let it go. So yeah, y'all just seeing me doing a head full of flat iron curls. I love flat iron curls. I haven't did regular curls in like so long. Um, I definitely do need to buy me another curler, but your girl done got used to doing flat iron curls and I really like them. So yeah, that is what I did. I did cut some layers in the hair off camera, y'all. And that was basically it for this install. Super duper bomb. I'm about to close out the video and just give my last minute thoughts and everything on the hair. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm not sure if I gave a proper ending. I may have in a voiceover or I'm going to just put this clip in. Who knows? But yeah, y'all, I just want to say 
thank you so much for watching this video and shout out to freaking icy hair this wig is super duper bomb i just put the body wave basically back into the hair i put some flat iron curls in as y'all seen earlier they kind of fail a little bit but this hair is so so bomb y'all i love the density i love how thick it is i loved the lace on this unit i love the parting space child i love everything about it it's 26 inches she's full she's thick she's voluptuous and the only thing that i really like was like iffy at first about was like the flyaways until i tamed them with um that olive oil heat protectant serum this hair it's the length for me it's the density for me it's the lace for me it's the parting space for me okay like i absolutely love this hair y'all and thank you so much icy hair for sponsoring this video make sure y'all check them out i'm gonna have everything in the description box the links um to my exact wig and everything like that so make sure y'all go check them out and tell them that can central. sent y'all <laughs> thank you <laughs> i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if y'all did make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video Ooh.